Hi, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler. Yeah, today I'm very excited because we will look into the 10 biggest pots played in Potlam in Omaha online poker. And yeah, as you can see, the biggest pot will be $1.8 million. So I simply love to see these pots, which are for hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions or more. And yeah. We will not only watch what happened during the sands, we will also analyze them. So yeah, I'm very thrilled. Um, but we have to give credits where credit is due. Um, this is content from BCP Poker Replays. So thanks for that. I will use his content and yeah, put my commentary over the hands. Yeah, let's get started. And yeah, if you want to see me live, you have to follow me on Twitch and yeah, if you watch this on YouTube, if you also enjoy content like this, please support me by liking, subscribing and all this good stuff. Okay, now we finally get into it. Big intro. I found a 10k is the first pot. Mm, is this straddle? Yeah, I think it's a straddle pot, so effectively we are not that deep. We're about 50 BB deeps. Um, yeah, we will get into the analyze of this hand. Yeah, but we cannot look into the exact one, obviously, as we don't have um, ha uh, sims with three blinds, so we have to do it with uh, two blinds only. And yeah, if you also want to do these analyzes on your own, there are two great programs to do so. The first one is PLO Vision. This is a product from Phil Galfon's site, run it once. And yeah, I will link it uh, below my video on YouTube and you can also find uh, affiliate links of mine on Twitch. The price will stay the same, but I will get some extra bucks. So thank you for signing up with that one. And yeah, there's also another product and that's the one we are using here. And that's PLO Trainer. And yeah, they are pretty sim similar. Um, both have a few pros and cons. I already talked about that a lot, so I will not repeat this here. So let's dive into the analysis. So bring the good old PLO trainer here. We change, oops, yeah, we make this. Although let's do this because we got the most sims for PLO 500, I think. We only have 50 BBs. So the first thing we want to figure out if this hand is an open, I think pretty clearly yes, but always good to check. And yeah, even uh, the rainbow version is opening, so, but we sort of already knew that. But should we say the small, let's say the small blind is re-raising. I think that's actually a mistake. I mean, we cannot take this one by one, but yeah, I think his hand is not strong enough. So what was it again? Ace, King, Queen, Eight with one suit. Ace, King, Queen, Eight. Uh, so single suited. And let's see. If this is, oh! I will, seems like I was wrong. His hand actually is supposed to 3-bet, so my bad. He's correct, I'm not. And yeah, he's even more correct because there's a lot more dead money into this pot. So great play. He has done his homework better than me for 50 BBs. And Tony calls. This should also be standard. Oh, this looks like all the money might be going in. And yeah, Tony yeah, have had, has him crushed pretty badly. I 
I mean, it's not the best flop in the world, but with only auto stack ratio f above of about two to one, I think you have to get it in with top pair, top kicker, and all the over cards to the board. I mean, it sucks that you don't have a flush draw, a vector flush draw, but yeah, sometimes it's how it goes. And yeah, it, at least he's blocking uh, one club. So let's see how this runs out. Yeah, he pots. That's that's what I would have recommended too. Yeah, yeah, Tony is going all in. 97% brutal one. And on the turn, he banks the quads. And yeah, up to the next one, also about 500k. No straddle this time, so this is way deeper here. It seems like we got a family pot here. Okay, race call, call. Another call. Oh, that's quite ambitious to call here, but we also will not have sims with that many people and it's very hard and very computational intensive. So I have just my poker mind to analyze this one. Oh, five, six. Yeah, this looks like a cooler because both guys have huge chance. And yeah. Not that much to analyze here. Turning down the sound a bit. It's a bit too loud, I think. What happened again on the flop? Let's see. I think it was checked through or what happened? Okay, he was betting small. He just called. Okay, that's quite cautious. Because, yeah, he could definitely just get it in. Because he's in such a good shape against basically everything. I mean, even if his opponent is having straight already, I think he's a favorite. And, yeah, a lot of many cards that are good for him would, will scare his opponent. And yeah, if, and he might even get sets or something to fold. So I don't hate a flop race, but their calling is also not the worst option. As long as you're not folding, you can't go too wrong. I expect another bet than a call on the turn. Oh, brutal. I always hate these um, situations. Oh, so hard to say what Benjamin should do here. I mean, he's wrapping the straight clearly, so... he's. Should he bet? Should he check? I mean, there is a little something that could be bluffing, but not that much. He also will get sort of decent odds um, once his opponent moves in. So, yeah, this is a very tough spot, to be honest. Oh, not sure about this shove. I mean, what's the point of doing that? Is he trying to fold out a split? I mean, the split probably never folds. Is he trying to get it the wheel to call? Very unsure about this, but I personally would have checked and <laughs> be very mad uh, once my opponent shoves. But I think uh, shoving yourself is probably the worst line. Anyways, let's move on to the next hand. It looks like another family pot. Uh, by the way, 
Tony should not get involved with this chunky hand, but he probably will as he see a loose fun player. Benjamin, yeah, we don't know what he has, but he has to have a little something if he leads against so many players. You should check so much of your range. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, Omaha for rolls, obviously, very good hand. Even if he's up against mm, aces, he's still in an okay, no, not really okay spot, but at least he has some backup equity. By the way, his open also is uh, quite loose. And yeah, I think it's quite unlikely that anyone has aces, so he probably can play his hand as if he has nuts. Um, just calling, although, is still fine because someone might be semi bluffing later in the hand and then he can ship it in and be in. Very, very good shape, especially because he is uh, sort of dominating the draws or has some outs with the draws together. So, yeah, I like his spot. Um, wouldn't blame him if he raises, but I think I personally would just call and yeah, try to trap the other guys and hope that someone else um, does the semi-bluffing and then they can get all the money in in very good shape. Okay, you raise a small, that's also okay-ish. Yeah, that's why you pull this type of hand preflop, because now Tony is in a very bad spot. This shitty hand. I would never get in, <laughs> into this uh, shaded situation as I would have folded preflop uh, yeah, now he also has a gut shot so I think uh, the only place to call should not um, re-raise and get it in either flipping against another draw or very bad shape against the higher set so he should definitely just call and wait for a turn card Pretty sure that this is a mistake, but yeah, it seems like the money is going in on the flop, and yeah, Omaha for rolls is having the best of it. Yeah, eighty-two percent is a huge, huge favorite in PLO. They are the you often have smaller. All ins with smaller favorites, so yeah, huge mistake from Tony preflop and also on the flop. I think. Let's see if he can get lucky. First one to Omaha for rolls, and second one to Omaha for rolls. Oh, six hundred eight k, a six hundred eighty k pot. Let's go. Oh, it seems to. Oh, I see. Oh, this was a genius play from Namos Mykos because he saw that Ape Emmy just had a very small stack and he basically was hoping that this situation would come up. Yeah, great play. Can't emphasize this enough. Yeah, and now he will get in. 100k or something and yeah be in a great spot with his shitty aces very interesting if tony can fold free flop uh, my guess is that he's not folding 
ever to three or four bits. Oh, sick. Maybe in this big games, he will play okay-ish sometimes. I also wonder if ace deuce three four is an open preflop. So let's figure it out. Hmm, this is definitely a close one. So we let's say we had hundred pb whatever. So is ace deuce four three an open? What do you think, guys? Ace deuce three four it is not an open even the double suited version is a fold apparently so but it's 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 leon i think that's for his standards quite a good hand so can't blame him <laughs> okay okay seems like the money will go in and Leon probably will be a huge favorite in this one. Although it's good that uh, Amos also has the deuce, so he's... I mean, how good is this? No, no, it's, it's not helping that much, but a, but a bit. Yeah, they definitely will now get it in. It's quite likely, or unlikely, that's better say, that the UTG Razor has hit this board hard. Other than with a flush draw. And yeah, pot to stack ratio is dictating that they are not getting away anymore. Yeah, Leon got very lucky. Percentage rise on the flop. Let's see if he can also ship this one. No, he can't. Although, um, who wins the big side pot? The big side pot goes to the aces, if I'm not mistaken. Seems like these games are not too bad, oh, honestly. But yeah, very expensive games for sure. Yes, this is high stakes poker, <laughs> Robbie. Uh, this is a platform that had, had a back bug where cancel attorneys would give buy and back plus coins for paying the rake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I think um, in the beginning they don't, didn't even have rake. Not sure if they have rake now. I suppose they have. Yeah, this is coin poker. Um, don't know that much about the side. But at least you don't have to play in their silly coin anymore and can play with Teva. So I like that because I always was not a fan of the side because if I have to use a stupid coin, then even if I win a lot, I probably will in the end lose money because the stupid coin will lose more than I can accumulate with winning. So. But yeah, anyways, let's move on. Seems like all um, these hands are from coin poker. Let's see if uh, some other hand will come up later. Yeah, that's again coin poker. Maybe it's all from the same game. Yeah, I think you have to three bet even that deep because yeah, your hand is too good. And these queens are... Oh, that's... That's actually a very, very close one. I wonder if you are supposed to open this hand. What do you think, Robbie? Is this queen, seven, eight an open or not? Let's see. I think it probably is, but it's, it is close. I think it is, yeah, but it, it's, it's close. So, where is the... So, it, uh, yeah, let's make this one single suited. Yeah, it's marginally plus EV. But yeah, even if you fold, you don't lose much EV. So, let's see. 
how this develops. He gets 3-bet, obviously has to call. Oh, that's a huge board. Pot. This is not very wise. <laughs> I mean, I think he, when he gets raised, he actually should still fold in my eyes. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I mean, he also should not pot. He probably... I mean, he probably should continuation bet on the bigger side and then just fold if he gets more action. I mean, that's what I would do. Let's see. He might get it in. The other good question is, should Queen Queen 8 re-raise? I mean, he's blocking a lot of stuff. It's, it's very hard for your opponent to have a good mate hand. His opponent could have a draw. But this pot size bet also looks like Leon might get it in with some stupid thing. So, uh, I mean, it's not a question of GTO if he should raise here because he's clearly not uh, playing against a GTO player. So, um, I would, it's a tough one, but I think I would re raise more often than just calling. And that's what happens. Yeah, he seems like he thinks the same. So coin poker got scammed. I mean, in my eyes, it's it's a scam when you create a coin that is that's only utility is to play poker with it, and then collect in an ICO like 30 millions or something. So it, it's probably okay that they, have, they gave some, some back. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, maybe the stupid guys are actually the investors who bought this coin. So yeah, whatever. Oh, that's so lucky. Yeah. Eight hundred eighty one K pot incoming. Yeah, that's a good open for sure. That's that's yeah, okay, these are the two very loose guys in the game. Um is this a call? This is a very, very, very good question if this is a call. I think it's probably going Tony's calling, then everyone folds, then the Aces one gets it in, then Leon pops it up even more, and then Tony calls, and what the fuck? One of them gets lucky or something. Um, but yeah, uh... let's see if this is a call in a 100 BB sim or not. Check, check, eight, queen. Oh, this is, again, a very, very close one. Uh, I think it's probably not a call. But, yeah, might be wrong. And we are also not in a GTO world in this game. But, yeah, in a GTO world, this would be a fold. Maybe even double suit. Let's see if double suit is a call. Although double suit might be a call. Uh, yeah, double suit is a call, so... What the fuck? Why is Leon just calling? Was he so scared that Tony was sort of... What? I mean, I think that's a clear spot to re-raise again. And yeah, if you get trapped, you get trapped, but... Yeah, I, I personally would have come back over the top in Leon's shoes, but yeah, whatever. See what happens here. Okay, the rest goes in. King King now calls. Sandwich in the middle. And yeah, Tony might re-raise again. 
And then he's in a very bad spot. Tony can also give him like a very good price on every street. When Leon now calls, Tony could raise small. Then Leon probably calls. And then he bets small on the turn again. Leon probably calls again. And on the river, he gets it in. And Leon is just, oh, oh fuck, how do I get in this spot? And then calls again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not sure if that, that will happen. But yeah, it could happen. Yeah, if he would have re re raised pre flop, he probably uh, would have won the hand. Or no, not won the hand, but lost a lot less money because Tony probably would be able to get away with, from his jacks. Um, Leon, um, t uh, not Leon. I think Tony is also s part owner or something, or at least he has something to do with the side. I'm not not sure um, if he is. Uh, the part owner of the side and still playing the games. This it always is a bit shady to me if something like this is going on. And yeah, the same also in the King's Casino where Leon is regularly playing and they're also being the owner. This is a thing that should not happen. And yeah, also, yeah, people who run the casino should not play there or in the games because this is I mean it, it, it looks shady and I think it often is not not sure if it's in this case is the truth but yeah be careful when you when the guy, guy guys running the game also play in the games that's what I'm saying okay moving on yeah Tony <laughs> I think that's actually a bit small the race oh no we got a game Leon is trapping. Yeah, Tony obviously still thinking he has the best end. I think he should have raised a bit bigger and yeah, then sized about the same percentage of the pot on the turn. Yeah. This way, if Leon just calls, he's... Maybe he's did the math correctly and he will be able to get it in so the pot will be 270k yeah i think he did the math actually not sure what to think about this race i think he's fine with just calling i think he should Continue to trap. I mean, if he's playing all his strong hands like this, he's very unbalanced if he gets to the river with just calling. But yeah, whatever. I mean, Tony also feels like he has the best hand always, so the money is going in. Ace on the river would be funny. No, it's not an ace. Nine hundred eight k. Oh, I'm I'm ah. It, it's when I see these hands, I want to get to the game as well. I think it also runs regularly. <laughs> How much is that on the table? What do you mean by that? They have like. If you sum it all up, they have like 2 million on the table, I think. They play in Teva, so it's USD, basically. Mm, let me explain. Teva is a stable coin that's packed one-to-one -to, -one to um, the US dollar. And yeah, so this is... Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's 1K, uh, 2K. And sometimes, at least in one hand, they had a straddle going on as well. But yeah, 1K, 2K. So, big game. Very big one. I wonder what the minimum buy-in is. If you can do the red hole game for like 20 BBs or something. Yeah, I mean, Heather is a bit shady, but they, at least to the audit, they got the money, but it's not backed one by one 
in USD, but they have like bonds or whatever, <laughs> low risk bonds. So it's it's risky to have to hold Tether for sure. But yeah, that's what people say for many years now, and it's not collapsed yet. Hi. <laughs> so we we got a poker discussion and a crypto discussion here. So <laughs> nice one. I missed the action. I think it was raised call, 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 call. So. Mm, Tony should probably not be in the hand in the first place. and But now he flopped something. Five, six, seven, three. I think he has a. Yeah, this, this is. This type of hands are very, very dangerous. He has. A hand that looks very good on paper but can easily be dominated by a higher flush draw so yeah he should have gotten away pre-flop and yeah now against so many people it seems like he's a bit overplaying his hand again yeah leon in my eyes has a clear fold with his just top pair and gut shot. But he's Leon and he probably does not give a fuck and what is he doing? Calling. I mean, actually I misread his hand, so he has also a double gut shot, so it's not that bad if he calls. Ooh, two people have it here. Tony also with the bigger redraw. So he probably pots again. No, he's going for the smaller size now. Oh, Man Mamoskmiko, whatever the rest of the name is, also has th something. Oh, what should Leon do now? I mean, he has no redraw. Well, he has a redraw, but it's a very tiny one. I think it makes sort of makes sense to race here. Let's see what he does. Revey all in? No. It's still a very big pot. 908k. Yeah. That's why you are trying to free roll other people. Look at this percentages. Although Leon has the nuts, only has 34%. And uh, this time Tony gets lucky. So that's ki kind of revenge for the hot before. Oh, we got aces in the game. Interesting question if this is a re race. Uh, probably is. I'm not too lazy to look it up. <laughs> I mean, it definitely is not a big mistake to re race. This is just insanely bad to cold call such a bad hand. So this is just spewy bullshit Leon does here. So this is just it blows my mind. I have to get into this game. <laughs> Yeah, so aces are very lucky to get in so much money. I mean, not lucky, but sort of happy. I mean, he gets so much in that he can ship any flops. So he's he's definitely okay with this outcome so far. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Leon should not have been investing anything in this pot. And now he probably will be in a pot for like 300k on the flop. <laughs> Yeah, that's also like casually playing for millions of dollars on a on a cell phone. It's it's definitely funny. Oh, this looks like it's good getting chipped to Leon. 
I mean, Abe, I mean, has some decent outs too, but yeah, aces are almost dead. I think it's a de would also be a decent way to play the hand to just donk um, in uh, Leon's spot. Because yeah, it could be the case that aces somehow uh, decide to, to, to see a turn or to, to not bet. Or yeah, I think donking is not the best strategy, uh, not the worst strategy. But yeah, this obviously is also fine. And yeah, we get it in. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter too much that A wins the small main pot because the side pot is huge. One point two million is this one for Omaha for rolls. Uh, I think that's probably not a call, but yeah, he probably assumes that he has a big edge against the A field, but. Yeah, I think it's this is almost definitely not a call. Let's see how bad this is. I'm getting this set up for you guys. Oh, loading, so not getting, not willing to get moved. Uh, five, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's a fold. Is it a fold if it's double suited? I, I, I personally wouldn't fold if it's double suited. I, I think it could be a fold, according to GTO. Mm, it's not. It's uh, just a call. It seems that call is the best option, at least. Uh, yeah. Solver is undecided a bit, but yeah, most, the most frequency is for the call and it also has the best EV so I say call is the, is the best option with this hand and so call is, would be the best option if he would be double suited with this one I think it, it's it's a fold because you're out of position you are very deep and yeah you can easily get in spots where you are, have dominated hands dominated draws so I think folding might, might be the better option but let's see how this develops I also wonder, I think Omaha for Rules is insanely rich, right? <laughs> just, just on a side note. Leon got his own helicopter. <laughs> cool. Uh, five. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These are the type of flops you hate and that are very hard to maneuver at. So, yeah, that's why I think folding preflop is correct with Omaha for Roll Sand. The yeah, Leon Sand is, is huge. So, he has like a gazillion outs or something. Although, it, actually, it's not that much, right? Uh, 9, 10, Queen. And a seven, so it's I think it's nine thirty now. It's only and a backdoor flush draw two, so like fourteen now. It's surely enough for Leon to get it in for any amount. So what do you do now with as, as Omar for rolls? This is very very tough one. He also has a gut shot, or is it a, even a double gutter? Uh, it's double gutter, oh, but not to the nuts. Probably, I think he probably calls. Or is he just shipping it in? I think shipping it in is too, uh, is insane, would be insane. I think calling is the way to go. But he will be in a very difficult spot. Yeah, that's almost certainly spewy bullshit what he does i mean what the fuck is he thinking bottom two pair and an open ender 
this is ju just not good. This is just in retarded. When you can easily be up against a set or something, or like a draw, but also has a jack when he's like crushed. This is just bad play. But he's insanely rich. It would be so funny if he folds with, with uh, one cent left. <laughs> or he times out or loses connection with his cell phone and, and the pot gets shipped to him. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is basically the best case scenario and he's flipping. And he could be uh, getting destroyed very, very badly here. His opponent has like jacks or eights or something. I mean, Omaha for rolls actually deserve to lose that one, but yeah, he gets lucky. Because the rich get richer all the time. Yeah, all the also covered this hand already. But uh, I mean, in a different video, but yeah. Still, let's watch it again. Yeah, Leon traps and just calls. Yeah, Taka with the quick call of the race, and now Leon will come in for the limp race. By the way, I think this is a terrible line, because yeah, he's insanely deep, he's out of position, he sets himself up for a lot of trouble, so he should not play it this way ever in my eyes. Uh, I think the way is the way to play this is to race when it when it getting to him the first time around and if Tony three bets he should just call and not make the pot bigger that's what I would have done but yeah this way he can get most of his money in and now it's obviously fine to make it 300k or whatever is possible yeah and yeah he gets it in small dog and yeah, more dog, but yeah, the flop looks quite juicy for Tony because he basically has everything. Flush draw, back to straight draw. Yeah, let's see. He can get there. Okay. Hope for Leon, but yeah, still in a lot of danger. And yeah, he gets lucky and yeah, he split the pot. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, thanks again to BCP Poker Replay for this great um, video where he put together all these uh, big pots. I love it. Please, more of that. And yeah, I hope you also enjoyed the, my video and my take on the hands and my analysis. Yeah, if you do so, please like, subscribe, follow all the good, healthy YouTube things. Also, suggest this to your friends if you think they might enjoy this too yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye